Today we're going to show you how to change the oil in a 2003 Jeep Grand Cherokee Loretto. If you don't know how to check the oil in this vehicle, please click the link on the screen. So we, when we checked the oil on this car, um, not only was the engine oil level low, but the oil itself was really brown indicating it was bad. Um, so we needed to change the oil on this car. So to change the oil in this car, you're going to need 6 quarts of 10W30 oil, an oil funnel, a drain container, you're going to need an oil filter wrench, breaker bar, ratchet, a 14 millimeter socket, and a new oil filter. So after you t determine that you need to change the oil in this car, um, there's a few few steps you need to take. The first is to drain the oil. Oil. The second step is to replace the oil filter. And the third step is to fill um, the engine back up with new oil. So to drain the oil, old oil, um, you need to find the oil pan. Um, the view we're showing you right now is from the front of the vehicle on the passenger side by the tire. Um, the, oil, the oil pan is found right in the center of the vehicle here. Um, after you find, find the oil pan, you're going to need to unscrew the oil pan plug. So now we're going to unscrew the oil pan plug. Um, we're going to use a, a 14 millimeter socket with a breaker bar. Um, to, to do this, you don't need to jack up the car. Um, the car comes, uh, it, the car is high enough uh, for you to drain the oil without jacking it up. To unscrew the oil pan plug, we're going to use a 14 millimeter socket with a breaker bar. After you loosen up the oil pan plug with the breaker bar, we're, um, you can use a ratchet to loosen it up a little bit more. Then you could bring in your drain container. And then you're just going to let the oil drain until it's dripping and there's no longer a stream of oil. So once uh, most of the oil has drained out, um, you want to screw the oil pan plug back in. First you can do this with your hand. And then you could tighten it up with a ratchet. Um, the next step is to find the oil filter and replace it. The oil filter for this car um, is found um, on the left side of the engine when you're facing the front of the vehicle. So this is right here is your um, is the oil filter for this car. So once you located the oil filter, um, you're gonna use the oil, uh, oil filter wrench with a breaker bar to remove it. After you loosen it up with the wrench, um, to make it easier, you just uh, loosen it up the rest of the way with your, with your hand. Um, some oil will drip, so make sure you have a container at the bottom to catch the oil. That's how you, and that's how you remove the oil filter. So after you removed uh, your old oil filter, you're going to take your new oil filter. 
before uh, you place this in the vehicle, what you want to do is lubricate it with new oil. Um, lubricate the top of the oil filter. So you just take the new oil and just spread it on top of the oil filter and the seal. To place the new filter in the vehicle, um, you just um, you're gonna screw it in with your hand. To finish tightening the new oil filter, um, you're going to take your oil filter wrench with a ratchet. You don't want to tighten it too much, but to the point where you feel some resistance. After you install your new oil filter, um, you're gonna fill the engine back up with new oil. Um, first you need to find your en engine oil cap, which is located um, on the top of the engine here. So you unscrew it, put it in the funnel for your new oil, and just pour in the new oil. So this car takes uh, six quarts of oil. So after you pour all the oil, you take out your oil funnel and screw the cap back on. So after you fill the engine up with new oil, um, you're, you're going to want to run the engine for a few seconds to let the oil run into the filter and then you're going to check the oil level. So after you add your new oil, um, you measure the oil level um, and you want to make sure that um, it's, be, it's in between that hole there and this hole. Um, you can see in this case that it's right there so the engine um, oil level is good. Um, another thing you want to notice is the color. It's a lot lighter um, than the old oil. Um, so this is how you change the oil on the 2003 Jeep Grand Cherokee Loretto.